the reasons that Jamaicans and other African diaspora people. I mean, at this point, it's like Stockholm Syndrome, where your damn oppressor and oppressed you so much that you didn't lost your damn mind and you're just adoring him at every living, you know, thing and throwing anything against the wall. Like, this is ridiculous. And yes, we see that here in the States as, um, you know, American people, uh, that some of our ancestry DNA has been oppressed so hard that it's just went down through the years and just surpassed on, which, you know, you can see it in several celebrities and official judges. I'm just not saying anybody's name, but you know who they are. But um, other than their skin color, you can tell that they black. <laughs> So, you mean to tell me Dominica, Puerto Rico, Haiti, um, Jamaica, all these other islands were so, you know, brainwashed, is what it is, sounds like, brainwashed by their oppressor that when they, you know, immigrated to America, second, third, fourth, fifth generation, that now they just look at American people who've been here from day one, enduring all of the hell on earth. And still, in some sense, enduring a lot of hell, you know. And you just throw that caution to the wind and just forget about all the, the history. And then you're just saying, well, you know, you guys are lazy. You guys this, that, and the other. Everybody is just posting this stuff on TikTok and Instagram. And from Dominica all the way down into the Jamaica island, y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. Because you know history. It's not that hard to open up a book and read about what you believe about your your country and we don't have to tell you what anything about where you're from we already know the history if we study history but you're not going to sit on this thing and, and talk crazy to us because we ain't falling for that we see y'all you here making your money doing your thing raising your families or whatever we ain't even bothering y'all but you want to keep getting on here and keep throwing african-american black people anti-black sentiments and stuff keep on because history don't lie i mean you can go back over there to your oppressor for all we care. We already know what he, what he gives at the end of the day. We're just going to sit back and sip our tea and look and be like, mm-hmm, that's my cousin. Because we're going to claim you whether you claim us or not. We're claiming you you're, you over here on, on our ticket anyway. When you're signing them applications for them jobs, you know what, what type, what part, they ain't falling for that. you looking darker than me and bitching you over here talking about you white. Stop with the bullshit. Please, you make yourself look stupid. You know, and nobody's telling you not to deny your ancestry and your DNA and all of that. But at the end of the day, keep our name out your mouth. We don't care. If that's the way you feel about being oppressed and all that, we don't need your excuse. We don't care. We're just tired of you hearing it. Just keep our name out your mouth. If you want to talk about us, go do it with, with your oppressor or whoever the hell, you know, you think your skin color is, aligns you with. Because that's all it is is colonization. At the end of the day, that's all it is. You on that color system bullshit, go right ahead. Se habla español. Yo soy princesa Ariel. Soy negra americana. Lo entiendo uh, uh, la, la lengua de, de tuyo. Pero no es tan fácil para mí cuando intento hablar. Y no me importa que la gente crea en mí. Soy feliz. Soy libre. Crea en mí. Have a good day.